Hello and welcome to video number 5 uh, looking at the C172 steam gauge version uh, using the X-Touch Mini, X's and O's and this uh, video is primarily about looking at the LED scripts that I use to show what mode the autopilot's in but before we get uh, into that there's a little bit of a hangover, a little bit of admin from the last video because I forgot to show you a couple of things uh, one of them being how we set the OBS2 and if I bring in my actual stream deck here let's get that line up a bit better um, OBS2 so if I turn the OBS knob here you can see that it lights up uh, VOR2 uh, decrement and obviously there's an increment version so they're the two that I set and um, we just find those by uh, setting a filter down here for OBO2 and for VOR2 and you can find those and allocate those as ever don't forget that the first time you uh, turn the knob it won't know which direction you're turning it will just say click it's not to do the second turn in the same direction it knows whether you mean left or right okay so those two are set up quite easily like that uh, VS up and VS down VS up is set here uh, again search for the KAP140 that's the autopilot we're using and it's push up and guess what push down so that will uh, increase and decrease your vertical speed the second problem I had was a problem I set myself for some reason when I programmed these up I couldn't make them work reliably as key down events they work best as key up events and I've no idea why but I've since gone through and uh, reprogrammed them all as key up events. Uh, let's have a look at heading. They're all key up events, traditional now, and they seem to work absolutely fine. So if I go into here, if I press my autopilot, that switches on quite happily and the heading mode. So as key down events, they seem to be working. So it must have been just a glitch last time I did it. So let's get into the meat of what I was trying to do, which was setting up these bulbs so they uh, come on and flash and do whatever they need to do. And it's relatively simple. Let's just go through uh, axes and O's and show you the script that I had to write. So I have written the script, which I placed in my scripts, uh, and I've called it imaginary my LED script for the 172 Steam. And that's it in its entirety. But uh, I'm going to use PowerPoint so I can actually go through it line by line with you and explain how it works. So this is the first part. It's looking at the variable for the autopilot master and checking if it's off. If it is off, we send an off command to this bulb here. And uh, I'll show you how I know which bulb I'm going for. Let's bring axis and O's back up again. I need to know the MIDI device I'm talking to. So if I go to hardware, show MIDI devices, I've got an in and an out, and I want to write out. And my out is ID7. Yours may not be because I've got music software and various other things attached to it. So you need to check which device you're talking to. So this is the device number. Everything is set over uh, channel one. Channel one is the general output mode. And we're sending it to bulb zero. The bulbs are labelled 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across the top and 8 to 15. So that gives you 16 bulbs, but they start at 0. So, go through this again. Check the autopilot master. If it's off, send a 0. If it's on, send a 1. 1 switches the bulb on. And this is just the address of the bulb. Okay. Um, I always write it this way around uh, it saves a bit of clock cycle time because usually the lights are off so if it's off just send a zero only worry about this piece of script if something's changed it just speeds things up a little bit okay let's have a look at the next line down which is is it in heading lock mode and it's very much the same structure if it's off send an off but this time obviously we're sending it to bulb number one or if it's on send a one to bulb number one same structure again if it's in nav one lock rather than heading mode if you're in nav mode if it's off just switch the bulb off if it's on switch it on and this is bulb number two bulb number three well if it's in approach mode then 
send if it's not send a zero to bulb number three if it's on send a one to bulb number three and I'll just switch that out of the way for the moment um, I do them slightly out of sequence I don't quite remember why but if it's in altitude hold mode then we're going to send a zero if it's not in altitude hold mode we'll send a zero to bulb number five if it is in altitude hold mode we'll send a one to bulb number five and this is the back course I think what happened was I didn't really know what back course or reverse did until I did some research and then decided oh that's quite useful so I have put that back in again uh, so again if it's off send an off to bulb number four if it's on send a one this is the line that's slightly different um, this is about the vertical speed as I said it goes into either vertical speed or altitude hold mode and I count this as a bit of a temporary mode where you're climbing or descending to your uh, target altitude so if it's off I turn the bulb off but if it's on I send a two rather than a one the two just tells it to flash so I, I end up with a flashing light so if I turn that on you should see I've got a flashing light here to tell me it's in this temporary vertical speed mode um, so you can use two wherever you like rather than one if you want something to flash that's all you do so what do we do when we've written the script well having written that script we then have to allocate it to this particular aircraft not a global one this is being set specifically for this one aircraft so auto aircraft automated script and it knows which aircraft you're working with because you've got your um, pro your flight simulator live and you hunt it down so it's in my scripts and it is uh, called that and it's repeating but it's repeating every hundred milliseconds which is probably faster than you need it's chewing up processing time so you could scroll this with a scroll wheel and put it to 500 so every half a second it will check that for me so we can update that and close that so if we again go back to the flight simulator if I turn this on that uh, half second delay you hardly notice it that script's just rolling around doing all those things so that's really it for the uh, LED script it's not that difficult once you get your head around the MIDI um, sort of accessing the uh, device and the channel and which bulb you're writing to uh, so I hope you'll have fun with that uh, not quite sure what the next video is going to be possibly uh, a test flight to show you all the different uh, functions in operation That'd be interesting. Okay, I know. I'll see whatever it is in the next video.